Hello there Sycamores, it's Miss Weston here. I hope you are well and staying safe and staying indoors. Um, next week's English is going to be poetry again and we are not doing haikus again, we are moving on to some longer poems and one of them is my absolute favourite poem to teach children and it's got lots of figurative language in it so it's got lots of similes and metaphors so your work this week is going to be um, identifying similes and metaphors and we're going to work on something called personification and the imagery in the poem and in this poem the imagery is just amazing because you have all these pictures in your head and the poet does a really good job of kind of describing the things in the poem so that you see those pictures. So I'm going to read you the poem. Your first task will be to read the poem to yourself to make sure that you can read those words that are a little bit tricky. Um, so listen carefully and I hope you like it as much as I do. So the poem is called The River Story by Brian Patton. You can find it on the Purple Mash in, our, in the work folder, in Sycamore's work folder, that is where you will find it. And you'll find the second poem and your worksheets as well. So, so Monday, take Mondays, Tuesday, take Tuesdays. Um, if you can, print off the poem because then you can highlight it and insert the, the similes and things like that. If you can't do that, you'll need to kind of type, type the things that you found. All right then, off we go. The River Story. I remember when life was good. I shilly shallied across meadows, tumbled down mountains. I laughed and gurgled through woods, stretched and yawned in a myriad of floods. Insects, weightless as sunbeams, settled on my skin to drink. I wore lily pads like medals. Fish, lazy and battle scarred, gossiped beneath them. The damselflies were my ballerinas. The pike, my ambassadors, kingfishers, disguised as rainbows, were my secret agents. It was a sweet time, a gone time, a time before factories grew. But brick by greedy brick and left me cowering in monstrous shadows. Like drunken giants, they vomited their poisons into me. Tonight, a scattering of vagrant bluebells, dwarfed by those same poisons, toll my ending. Children, come and find me if you wish. I am your inheritance. Behind the derelict housing estates, you will discover my remnants. Clogged with garbage and junk, to an open sewer I've shrunk. I, who have flowed through history, who have seen hamlets become villages, villages become towns, towns become cities, and reduced to a trickle of filth beneath the still burning stars. Okay, sorry, I lost my way in the middle a bit there because I had to move it up on my computer. So I love that poem because of the images it puts into my head. So for example, I'm going to pick one of my favourite images out and it says kingfishers disguised as rainbows were my secret agents. So I don't know if you know what a kingfisher looks like. It's kind of blue. It's a bird and it lives by the river and it's blue on top and it's kind of an orangey red underneath. And I've only ever seen two kingfishers in my life and when I was walking by a river and they are so fast and they are so secretive and they're so elusive, that means you don't see them very often, that that image really stuck in my head. So where it says kingfishers disguised as rainbows, so that's the blue and the red colour on them, were my secret agents. And I kind of thought, yeah, they are like secret agents because you hardly ever see them and they're so fast and they're so secretive. And so I, think that's a really brilliant age, um, image. So I could just imagine these, these kingfishers flying by the river kind of and, and hiding and then moving again and then hiding. And, um, and so that image really works for me. 
And it, it, the image is good because it says kingfishers disguised as rainbows were my secret agents. Not were like secret agents, because that would be a simile, were secret agents. So that's a metaphor, isn't it? So this poem has got similes in it, using like and as to compare something, the thing that's being described with something else. And the comparison helps you to know how big something is or how gentle something is or how graceful something is or how loud something is. So that comparison helps you to know, that's what the poet does. It helps you to know what something is like. So it has got similes, but it's also got metaphors where it says that something actually was something else. And that's an even more powerful image. So task one on, for Monday is to pick out the similes, pick out some metaphors. Um, and I think I said to draw one of them. So if I was going to um, draw the kingfishers metaphor, I'd draw myself a kingfisher and then I might put a pair of dark glasses on it so that it was like a spy or something and under its wing it might have a machine gun and underneath its other wing it might have some secret documents or something because it's a secret agent so it would kind of I'm drawing a picture of how that image works for me okay so that's what you need to do on Monday on Tuesday it's all about the vocabulary so another reason why that poem is so good is because of the words that are used. And so we've got things like shilly shallied, myriad, we've got cowering, we've got monstrous, we've got, what else is there, vagrant bluebells. So what I want you to do is either use a dictionary book, a book dictionary like we've got in class, or you could um, go online, remember to just check with your parents, make sure it's all right. But go online and use the online dictionary to find out the meaning of the words and then you have to kind of match them to the meanings that I've given. So all the meanings are there, you just need to match the correct ones. So one or two of them you might know already, but the others you would have to look up to make sure you're matching the correct ones. Okay, Wednesday is going to be a different poem and I'm going to finish with you now and I'm going to do a separate video for that poem. So I hope you enjoy reading The River Story and I hope you love it as much as I do. I wonder what your favourite image is going to be. Tell me. Okay, bye. Take care.